Today we're going to make a dairy-free trifle. Welcome to Cake Mom. I'm Abby. This is Emery. Hi. On this channel, I will share with you guys some of my tips and techniques as well as recipes to help you with your home baking projects. Ooh. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing Ooh. and hitting the notifications Ooh. bell so you can see when we post our next video. Ooh. Today Ooh. is all about dairy-free baking, a dairy-free trifle, because why not? It's summertime and we love fruit, Bye. light, airy Bye. desserts. Bye. So first thing we need to do is get our dairy-free milk, which today we're using almond milk. Put it in the saucepan. Good job, Emery. We're going to warm this up until it's almost simmering on the stove top. Be right back. One minute. While our milk is warming up, we're going to whisk together the rest of our ingredients, except for vanilla. We'll set that aside. So we're going to take two egg yolks. You put it in there? We're going to take our egg yolks and our sugar and whisk them together. Can you, not yet, whisk these two together. There you go. Now we're going to sift in our flour and our cornstarch. Ooh, cool. Yeah, and whisk it up. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah. This is where mommies need to work. Okay, so we've got our hot milk here. Let's move this a little farther away. You guys stay over there, okay? We're gonna add a little bit into this mixture, but whisk it while you're doing it because you don't want to curdle your egg yolks. So, egg yolks. kinda put a little bit in there while you're, and then mix it up real good. Cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. So now we're going to put this mixture back in our saucepan. You wanna help me with this? You think you can do it or you want some help? I got it. All right, pour it in here. It's best to sift it so you can get any uh, partially cooked egg yolk out, as you can see. We have a little bit in there. So now we are going to cook this on medium-low just till it starts to thicken, all right? You don't want to overcook it because you don't want to curdle it, but you do want it thick enough to use. So here we go. Aaliyah, thank you. Good job. So our pastry cream is nice and thick. We are going to now add some vanilla extract and cool it down. You want to whisk it or pour yeah. this in? Pour this in. All right, I'm going to whisk it. You pour that in. All right, there's our vanilla extract. All right, so now we're going to put it in a clean bowl so we can cool it down in our ice bath. So here we go. If it's got a few little lumps, go ahead and strain it when you, before you do this. Strain it into your bowl. Stir it. But if you whisk it, it shouldn't have any lumps. So here's my new spatula. <laughs> I just made a video kind of reviewing some of my favorite spatulas that I got off of Amazon. If you're interested, check it out. We'll post the link in the description below. <laughs> so we're gonna cool our pastry cream. What you wanna do is take a sheet of plastic wrap and put it right onto the surface of your pastry cream before you cool it. Because otherwise you'll get a skin on your pastry cream. All right, excuse me. All right. While your pastry cream is cooling, we're gonna chop up some fruit. Okay. <laughs> so here we have some fruit, and you can put this in the trifle just like it is, because fruit is very sweet. But if you want to add like a little bit of like a syrup or something, if you sprinkle a little bit of sugar on your fruit and let it sit, it will make its own little syrup. But you gotta let it sit for a little while. We're gonna serve this to kids. I'm gonna use just a little bit of agave instead of sugar. Since we already have enough sugar in all of our other things. So we're just gonna put a little bit in there. And mine? And all of them. That's mine. All right, now we're gonna stir them up and let them sit for a little bit. So here are our components for our trifle. We have our fruit. We have our dairy-free pastry cream. This is an angel food cake. Ooh. Angel food cakes are dairy-free. They're made with egg whites and sugar and flour and a little bit of vanilla. The cool thing about this particular recipe is you take the yolks 
from the angel food cake and use them to make the pastry cream so nothing goes to waste, nothing has to be stored for later. That's why I like doing it this way. The recipes will be posted in the description below for these two components right here. And before we layer our dessert up, we're gonna kind of whisk our pastry cream to make it a little bit more work. Yeah. All right, so now we're gonna layer our trifle up. We're gonna take a bowl or a trifle dish if you have a trifle dish. And we're gonna put some of these squares of angel food cake in there, about half of them. Put them down in the bottom there. I like to put some fruit on top of that. If you want perfect layers, you can put the pudding down next. Good job. I like getting juice in there. All right, do some of the other fruits too. Pudding? Yeah. Your mommy will put it in, you spread it, okay? You can use yours. Spread it all out. Let's make it, Mom. Look at mess. Don't mix it. You're supposed to spread it. Look, it's working. Mm -hmm. Mama, Mama. Ooh, yeah. Spread it out on there. Yep, spread it around. You just kind of. You could just sprinkle it around. So what I like to do is buy some dairy-free whipped cream. There is a brand, um, a Ready Whip actually, that's almond or coconut whipped cream that's in a can. Or you can buy some straight up coconut cream and whip it yourself and then you just serve it up. It's a yummy summertime dairy-free treat. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If there's anything you'd like to add or anything you'd like to see, please leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. If you haven't yet, please consider subscribing to our channel. 